is concern of a measles outbreak here in the valley. Maricopa County health leaders say an unvaccinated woman contracted measles in Europe and then she may have brought it back to Arizona during a recent trip. Any unvaccinated people in the areas where she visited have a 90% chance of being infected. Measles is one of the most contagious viruses we have. At the center of this story is the growing debate in this country over vaccinating against measles. Joining us tonight is Dr. Jack Wolfson, who's called the natural cardiologist, who is anti-vaccine. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. And Dr. Albert Jacobson, who's a pediatrician at PCH and is pro-vaccine. Give me your, your platform on why you think vaccines shouldn't be given. Well, vaccines are actually chemicals, and chemicals and poor nutrition are actually what causes disease. So that really needs to be the focus on our society, really about prevention from those dimensions as opposed to injecting chemicals uh, to our children. In fact, children, by the time they're 18 years old, get 72 vaccinations. That's a lot of chemicals. That's a lot so, of infectious so material. And, and your stance runs the gamut. You're against polio vaccine and everything else, right? Well, most of these vaccinations actually we're trying to uh, you know, eradicate infections that actually are not even that dangerous. Take chicken pox, for example. Take measles, for example. In most cases, 99.9% .9 of measles cases, uh, it's, it's, it's a fever, a cough, and a rash. It's rarely, rarely life-threatening. Dr. Jacobson, where do you stand? Well, I'm obviously uh, uh, for vaccines. Uh, you know, vaccines have done more as far as why we live longer and the health of people in the 20th century than probably anything else. So earlier you were talking about uh, the uh, problems uh, out in the road. So uh, the advances that we've made on safety with seat belts and car seats for babies, that's had an influence uh, controlling infectious diseases and putting uh, fluoride into the water, all those things help. But vaccines is the biggest important thing as far as the longevity of people. Dr. Wilson, where do we stand as far as the anti-vaccine movement where it, when it comes to autism? Well, as far as I'm concerned, once again, autism is caused from chemicals, and vaccine contains chemicals. Uh, there's been plenty of studies showing that actually 80% of autism cases are environmental related. So I would definitely take issue with some of the things that uh, the doctor mentioned. Actually, the main thing that's caused an increase in our longevity is better access to medical care, better sanitation, cleaner water, better supply of food than anything. In, in uh, fact, the benefit of vaccinations has been minimal at best. And Dr. Jacobson, would you agree that uh, getting the measles for a child is nothing more than a fever and a rash and, and we can call it a day? Or do you think it can get more serious than that? Well, I don't have too many memories, but when I was five, I had measles and it was like the highest, worst fever I had. It was very sick for a long time and people get really sick. So you, you do get complications. Uh, but as the other doctor says, most people do okay, and it all goes away within one or two weeks. But uh, uh, it causes a number of deaths. You can get panencephalitis from it uh, as well. Also causes pneumonia, high rate of hospitalization, and it's, uh, it's a serious infectious illness. Dr. Wolfson, Dr. Jacobson, thank you both for coming in today. Thank you. All right. And